Hello friends. In this video, we are going to talk about to-do list app in Blazor. What we are going to be learn in this video, we are going to create a to-do list Blazor app project. We are going to create one Razor component and modify that component. In that component, we use the event handling and data binding and finally we use the routing in Blazor. App. So let's check the example and create the one projects and we can perform all the points okay i have created open the visual studio and i am going to create the new project from the file new and new project there will be blazor app and you can select the blazor app create the next you can give your path or application name i'm going to blazor to do app okay click on now create button now you can select the blazor server app and if you want to configure https you can tick otherwise you can untick okay after creating the project you will see the default templates with the structure now on the pages we are going to add the to do dot result component so right click over in the page and add the new item and you can choose the result component and give the result component as a to do make sure result pages must have to be a first letter is capital so i'm going to to do it t is capital i just going to be add the to do riser so now we are going to add the page directory and we are just writing to to do so now whatever the we have right here is the in the page directory it's considered as routing so now we are going into the our shared directory there will be a new menu so i'm going to add our to do in this menu so i'm just going to take it off and write here is the to do and writing here is the to do okay so other thing is fine till now now going to run it and we'll see our to do component is properly placed or not okay this is our landing page and here is the to do so we'll see that to do tax has come up that so that means our component is working and also routing is working okay so i'm going to stop this project and now for the to do applications for the to do list we need two things one is the to do titles and another is how many to do is done so i'm going to create the one class at the root level but you can you guys can create the to do class as per your structure right now i'm going to create to do for the one class to do item on the root level so i'm giving the name as a to do item and there will be a two property okay so now i'm going to use the to do item in our uh, razor component define the private variable i list of to do item given the variable name is to do's i utilize this list in the for each loop where the, our collection is to do's and item is to do for each loop uh, we are going to make the ui ally the ul inside the for each loop and define the li is here okay inside the li i'm just right moment i'm just to do dot the type so now we have to do is our maintain the state and whatever we have uh i to do items it will be displayed through the for each loop now we want to ui component where we can add the to do right so i'm going to add the input and one button okay so we are now have those one text box and one button which will be going to add the new to do but right now if we click on the to do button it's nothing happen because right now we have not handled the any events so let's we can first create the events private void add to do okay so now here is one interesting things I am going to write the on click event and call the direct C sharp event. Okay, so without parameter, I'm passing it here. So you can call the add to do from the on click. Now, how we can access the input value? Now, binding is coming to the pictures. In the button level, we have seen the how to yeah event binding is there, and now we are going to see the how to data binding. So I'm going to create a one variable private string new to okay and i'm going to bind this variable to the using it this bind keywords and just give the variable name so we get that when we click the button the on the event is fire the add to do and we can get the whatever we have written in the text box through the new to do variable 
so I'm going to write the, the code just just handle that string is not null or that means a new to do is not null or empty then and then we can going to add into the, our list so to do's dot add okay and new to do item object okay what we have we have title and we are going to assign the new to do and after the adding we are going to clear the to do variable so we are ready to run this application what we have done we have created the one that will be a list of to do items then we have created the one new to do variable which will be bind into the text box and we have one add events or add to do action which will be bind into the add to do button so now we are going to run it and let's see what happens now we are navigate to do and uh, you can see that we have the one text box and one button we am just going to add it and you will see that whatever I'm going to add in to do it's going to be add into the to do list and it will be display through the for each loop now we are going to one more facilities if those to do's are done we can check and how many to do's are pending we can display as a count so let's see how we can achieve through we can also allow edit on the for each loop so I'm going to add one input and bind with the to do dot is done okay and I'm just copy and paste and just change the type is input as a text and bind with title okay so now everything will be in editable now we are going to give that count how many to do's we have so I'm just to do's dot count inside the to do and what are the to do's we, we needed those who have not completed so I'm just making the to do dot is done that means what are the to do is not completed we just display the counts going to be run okay now we get to do container right now we don't have any to do's and we don't have any pending so that's display the zero so i am adding to do one to do two so you can see we have checkbox with the value you can update the value here as well i'm just adding random stuff okay now you can check on check box and you'll see that it's going to be reduced the count because those to do are completed okay so what things we have learned in this video just we quickly recap first we have created the blazer app and then after we have created one to do component in to do component we added the routing and routing we utilize on the the nav menu the nav menu we have given the routing to navigate to the to do then we have created one to do item class there will be a two properties titles and is done then we have used the for each loop to utilize the to do's collection and then we have two ui elements where we can add the new to do's and these two elements one we have the functionality of the event binding and one functionality with the data binding so how to handle the events and how to bind the data we have seen in this video hope this video is useful to you please subscribe my channel please share your comments in the comment box thank you guys